Major developments in America at war. Today, U.S. forces formally ended their mission in Iraq. It's an historic day that's getting a mixed reaction from soldiers. Tonight, we're speaking with one local soldier who spent a year in Iraq serving his country. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buto has the story now live in the capital city with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Local servicemen and women more than likely will take a closer look at what happens next in Iraq in the coming years since they put their lives on the line trying to change that country. Among the local forces who sacrificed in Iraq, Army Major Mike Manning, who provided long-range surveillance for one tour in 2005. I'm privileged to serve among uh, soldiers and airmen here in the Rhode Island National Guard that have deployed multiple times. He lost four good friends. He was more than once within a few Humvees of an explosion. The official end of the war reminds him of those and others shared sacrifices by service personnel and their families. And I think we can all be proud of that. So again, time will tell, but right now um, I, I think that we have set the conditions for success in Iraq. Roger, grid to follow. He and other soldiers believe one mistake would be to compare Iraq's freedom and self-governance to America's. However we define success, that we, all of the hard work, all the blood, all the treasure uh, committed was not for naught and that uh, we truly are leaving Iraq a better place. And the Rhode Island National Guard was second per capita in the nation for deployment to Iraq since 9-11. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.